Okay, we're going to try number three again. Number three is nine and one fifth minus four and three fourths. If you're on another problem, go ahead and stop. Take a look at this one and make sure that you're doing this right. Because you'll find that this one's more difficult than most. But if you remember the proper steps, then you can work through it. You need a common denominator. Common denominator is going to be 20. So you ask yourself, 4 times what gives me 20? That's 5. So 3 times 5, that's 15. 5 times 4 gives me 20, so 1 times 4 is 4. Questions about this so far? Okay. Now I have 9 and 4 twentieths minus 4 and 15 twentieths. The problem I've run into is that this 4 isn't big enough to take 15 away. So I've got to change it into an improper fraction, which means I'm going to do the Texas thing. These are gone now, okay? 9, uh, sorry, 20 times 9, 180. 180 plus 4 is 184. What do I do about my denominator? Keep it. Do the Texas thing. 20 times 4, 80 plus 15, 95. Keep your denominator. Now do I have that same problem of having not enough? No, 184 minus 95, if you need to, oops, pull to the side, subtract it. Oops. Thank you. Subtract and what do you get? That's 14, that's a 7, that becomes 17. 14 minus 5 is 9. 17 minus 9. 89 is my numerator and what's my denominator? 20. This would be okay if you didn't have to simplify, but you do. So 20 goes into 89 how many times? Four whole times. And that's 80, so 9 is left over. 20 is my denominator. Now, if you want to see that in actual long division, it looks like this. 20 into 8 is 0. 20 into 89 is 4. Subtract, and it works like this, clockwise. 4 and 9 twentieths. Can we simplify this? No, this is my final answer.